Hey, good morning, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps, and today we're doing this wood burning stove. Um, and uh, basically, it's, it's in an office, um, like a, in a barn, so it's like fantastic. I, I will show you the, the whole um, appliance after we've done it. This one has got the, the, the bolts in the back, which are great because um, whoever did it last time didn't do them hand, uh, didn't use tighten them up with a spanner which is always important if you've got bolts inside your appliance never tighten them up with a spanner always just use your hand so there's one of them you've got to take them off otherwise you can't get into it so it's looking all in good order something i will show you about this one in a minute which is kind of interesting i don't know why they've done it the way they do but you know what happens and so um, what we're doing now is we just take the sides off like this you'll see the, the 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 piece that i've taken off put that down to one side obviously check the brick make sure there's no hairline fractures in it which there's a few but it looks all all right and as i said with these bricks if you want to get like more life out of them and make them look good and and this this particular one before i go on to that you, it, it, you can tell which side it goes because it's got that there so it's like for where the door handle is on this side so you always always know where the door where the, where the door handle opens and shuts it's got that just that little bit just there on the side there and uh, so you, you know exactly which way it goes around so obviously with this one you couldn't swap them around with a lot of them you can just turn them around so you can get a new one but th this one's got um, a metal plate I'm gonna have to drop it down as you can see, it's, kind of, it's very warped, this one. Let's take it out, I'm not able to show you. It's, it's very warped. Uh, what's happening there is that it's, it's burning at uh, the temperature's too high. This, is, this hasn't got a thermometer on it, but uh, the difficult thing about this one, because it hasn't got a thermometer on it, what will happen is... Uh, yeah, basically what it is, is um, you've got... Um, it's got a bent baffle plate because it's burning at quite a high temperature but um, normally I'd recommend that it have a therm thermometer on, on this particular on, on an appliance but the only problem with this one is it's got a twin wall flue pipe system and um, it would be very difficult to put one on to, so you could get an exact reading of the temperature so um, it's, it's a bit of a sticky one really you could put, probably have to put it on the collar normally I don't advise them to go on the collar but I will speak to the customer about getting one, um, but all the time it's coming out, it's fine. You can you can bet it can take them out and, and bend them. Uh, so you just got to be careful of uh, uh, what you're burning them. So right now we're actually inside the appliance. And, uh, now I've got access straight into the flue pipe. So what we'll do is we'll get the old faithful oil is in here somewhere. As I said, it's, it's, um, it's in a, like a, a, an office. And uh, it's just like a, a barn office, which is beautiful. So it's, um, it's fantastic. It's a perfect thing for, for an office, a barn office. You don't need any other. I, wonder, I can imagine you would not need anything else to heat this area up. So what we do is we're just going to put the, the, um, the sheet over the front because we obviously don't want to make a mess. We always like to leave them exactly how we find them. So what we do now is just going to do the usual stuff that we always do. Just put that over the top like that. And then um, this is this is very clean, by the way, because um, the great thing about these ones is that because they're, they're stainless steel flue pipe, they warm up really quickly. So none of the soot sticks to the actual sides. It's not like um, um, different types of them. But this one will warm up very quickly, and it's a short flue, so it won't. And then I'm. I'm I think one more and I'm there. It's not going to tile up at all. 
So it's just more of a, just to get the certificate. That's it, donk, we're at the top. So it's just basically just for a check, make sure it fits all fine with it. Um, and it looks all fine. So no issues there at all, bring it back down. Obviously, um, as you know, the way I sweep them, I always put the brush up first, just to make sure I know exactly how dirty it is. But as I was saying about them baffle plates, it's, it's very, very important that uh, when you fit these on, that you do them hand tight. You never tighten them up with a spanner because like, like uh, you know, it's common knowledge that, and common sense that like um, metal expands in heat. And if it's, if it's a threaded bolt that's going into like a, a threaded hole, it will expand in the heat and then you will not be able to get it out if it's been tightened up by a spanner. So it's really important that you always do them hand tight. And if you look at how long that, that, that bolt is, it's plenty long enough for it to stay into position. So don't worry that it's gonna fall out on you when you're having a fight, it won't do. It's not gonna happen, I've never heard of it happening before. But of course there might be, it might have happened to someone in the past, but it's definitely not going to be, I haven't, it hasn't happened to me in 24 years, but I'll say that now and it probably happens to me on every job I go to today, but, but no, if you just do them hand tight, it's really important. Any, any, any appliance that's got nuts and bolts inside the appliance, never tie them up with a spanner. If it's got direct uh, access to the heat, the flame, they will expand, and I've had it before where, you know, you've had to say to the customer, you know, uh, the only way to get this, uh, this nut off is by snapping the bolt, and then obviously you've got to drill the actual bolt out of the, um, the hole, and then you've got to re-thread it and put a different one in it, and then make the job a nice, simple, easy job, but for an expensive one, so just for the sake of doing them hand tight. It doesn't seem to be worth the aggravation. As you saw, I always sweep underneath it. That's where you get a build up of soot and soil. And what we'll do is we'll put that As I said, with, with these, there's, there's not much you can do. I will say to the customer, get a thermometer for it. What we'll do, turn it off for a moment, and then we'll stick that back up in there. where they go and if you can't find the hole so you just get your torch once you've got the first one in and then it should line up with the second one so always use my forehead to be fair than the actual brick so try and lift them up a little bit when you're doing it don't do them too tight because you want to get the, the other bricks in as well and we'll just do this side now it should just tie them up never force them they should just go straight in if you force them you're going to be damaging the threads of the bolt then what I do is I leave it loose like that. It makes, I'm just gonna hoover that little rubbish off up there. Just makes it easier to get these back in. Remember this one goes, cause it's got that bit of the side, it goes where the handle 
goes in. So I put that and then I've got to lift that up like that. for the air to go down so Hoover up. Get rid of all this stuff off the sheet, but I'll do that in a minute. Just turn the Hoover off now. Yeah, basically that's it. It's all done now. It's all fine. Looking all fine. So um, that's just where they've, they've had the ash up to. But um, yeah, it's looking all fine. No, no issues there whatsoever. And. Uh, Let's give that a bit of a brush off. Gonna give it a little bit of a hoover. Just check the old gasket right around the edges to make sure that's all fine. Looks all, all fine, no problems there at all with it. I've noticed that the, the fire cement is cracking along the top here, which obviously it's going to, because as I always say, it's like you don't want to put fire cement on these joints. But as you can see, someone's put a gasket right there, and then they put fire cement on top of it, which is really daft. I don't know why they've done that. So I'm going to say to the customer, when that fire cement comes off, leave it because it's, it's, it's sealed with the gasket rope. That's, they don't need the fire cement there because it's not going to leak. You, you, if you're ever going to put gas, um, fire cement in, always make sure it's the same level as the collar. Don't have it sort of at an angle because um, obviously when the pipe expands in the heat, uh, fire cement doesn't expand and it will crack and then it will come off and I, and I go to jobs not now but jobs that I've started to do where they're replacing it every year the fire cement it's a nightmare so I'll either use gasket rope or uh, put fire cement on the same level as the collar and don't go any higher than that but this this is the appliance that I've just done I've just moved the the, the fan put it at the back I'll, I'll talk to, not that to be fair uh, on this one I'm going to leave it as it was because um, um, it, you know, obviously it's customer's choice, but it, uh, ideally it, they should have put a twin, a, a single wall uh, flue pipe going all the way up. But they've got enough heat coming out of this because that, that would have really kicked out the heat. But they've got a twin wall flue pipe going all the way up and then it goes past the beam and it goes straight out the top there, around two bends and then out the top. But 
it's in really good condition so like um and the customer saying to me that it's it's really hot when it's on so um you know like if they had a single wall through pipe on there which is how i fit them it would be like probably another 30 percent more heat onto it so with the fan there's no point in having the fan at the back of it because you can touch these so uh, it's not going to kick out any heat but if it was a single wall flue pipe then then you would um, put it at the back of the actual pipe so then let's just shut this door and then that's it it's all done that's it ready to go for the winter have a great day from zachary from zachary sweeps